Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at starred target assignment prefixes in Python. Basically we're building off our advanced assignment statements in the previous tutorial. Now I don't know if that's the correct name starred target assignment prefix but sounds pretty good. Anyhow um, let's go ahead and just uh, get our interpreters fired up so gotta be on my terminal Python 3 alright um, let's just go through what we did the other day where we um, did multiple assignments to multiple objects in one statement um, just get a little warm up here and then we'll jump into the star target assignment and I'll show you all about that so let's just do uh, nums equal to uh, some numbers so like 1 2 3 4 5 you guys no, that's 6 5 and return all right so now we'll do like a b c d e is equal to num then we can uh, return them all b c d and e all right pretty simple right and we learned this in the previous tutorial now doing something like this um, would help you cut down on writing code because we wouldn't have to do like uh, uh, something like a is equal to num and then slice it like that oops like that and then get our one all right you know that would cut down this cuts down on our code a lot all right now I'm going to show you another thing called star star target assignment prefix well I say it's called that but I I'm not 100% sure what it's called anyhow let's go ahead and just return uh, num to see what we got here all right cool uh, we got one two three four and five so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign a to one all right and then I'm gonna do a star or an asterisk prefix B and equal or assign that to num now watch what happens I call a I get one I call B I get two three four and five so what the star prefix actually does is it assigns it to the rest of the objects so a would be one and then star prefix is added to the rest of the objects um, we can do it the other way around too we could do a star a comma b is equal to num now we call a we get one two three and four and b will be five pretty cool right um, can we uh, star both of them well no not technically because then it doesn't know its starting point and ending point so if I do it this way we're gonna get an error two starred expressions in assignment so you can only have one starred expression in an assignment alright so let's take a look at a couple more examples um, what, do I, what do I do let's call num again alright well, actually let me clear my screen then we'll call num again that's num like that and um, oh, let's take a look at what we're actually doing. I couldn't even remember what I was doing there for a second. Anyhow, um, let's do a comma star b. So we saw this in the previous one. Num, all right. And we'll call a. And we'll call b. And we get one, two, three, or one, and then two, three, four, and five is represented by b. So if we didn't have the starred uh, prefix we would actually have to write it out with slicing and if you think about it, that could get a little sloppy or it takes a little bit more to write and I'm lazy so I, I preferred the star so if I did a let's do it this way we're gonna flip-flop them so a is gonna take uh, one two three four and five or four and then B will take five so we'll do it um, so we'll do a uh, I forgot what I was doing. B, num. Uh, we're gonna slice, so we're gonna do um, two, three, then comma, and then we'll do uh, oops, num four. All right. Hit return. We'll call a one, two, three. Actually, it's not what I want to do, but anyhow, one, two, three, and then we'll call B, and we get five. Um, this should have been four. So rewrite it like this: a, b, 
be equals num. And then we're going to slice through four. Because if you remember correctly, that um, we always got to add one number to this. So this actually stops at the second index. This will stop at the third index. And num four, just like that. Then we call A. Then we call B, just like that. And that's how we would get those numbers returned to us. But if we use the start index, we could do A comma B is equal to num, just like that. Call A, call B. Boom. Simple, right? It's a lot easier than writing this whole thing out here. All right. Um, what about uh, starring something in the middle? Can we do that? Sure, we can. So let's uh, let's give num uh, a lot more. So let's go two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, -er. just like that. And then we'll do a, then we'll star b, and we'll do c. All right, and then call and then assign that to num. Then if we call a, we call b. We call C. There you go. All right. So basically, A takes one, C takes nine, B takes the rest of it. Uh, how about using it with a print statement? So if we um, just do prints A, B, and C. Oh, close that up. C. Uh, we get one, and then notice it's always in a list. You see that? It's always in the list. Um, Every time we use the starred uh, target assignment, um, it's always going to return a list. All right. So uh, what happens now that I say it's always a list? Um, what would happen if we did this? Uh, let's change num to one, two and three all right <clears throat> and then now let's do uh, a b c star d equal num all right um i should have showed you with hold on let's first do it with a b c and d is equal to num all right, we get an error because there's not enough values to unpack. They expected four values. We only have three. We got one, two, and three, and they expected four, so we get a value error. Okay, um, let's go ahead and go back up. All right, now let's do uh, A, B, C, and then we're going to star target D and then equal that to num. Now, if we call, you notice we didn't get an error there. We call A, we call B, we call C, we call D. Well, what happens is A represents 1, B represents 2, C represents 3, and D represents an empty list. All right? Because it always returns a list. So we're not going to get an error there. So keep that in mind when you're writing your code. Um, if, you're, if you're expecting to get an error, if you don't have enough objects, well, you're not going to get one because you're going to get an empty list. All right? Um, what else can we talk about? Um... Oh, let's. Uh, how about if we wanted to use the star target on um, to represent the whole list of objects? So we'll clear our screen, and I'll just do num again up here so we can see what it is. And if I did something like star a oops, is equal to num, I'm going to get an error. Star sign target must be in a list or a tuple. Okay, how do we fix that? A comma assigned to num and we call a we get them all all right so that's the tuple method of uh, fixing that problem or we can put it in a list like this and assign that to num and call a oops and we get one two and three so that's how we fix that so in this tutorial you guys learned how to um, use the star target assignment prefix I believe that's what it's called if not it's close enough all right so we know we can instead of you know writing out all these um, really long 
assignment statements, we can use the star target to uh, assign multiple uh, objects to a variable. If you have any questions, please let me know. And otherwise, in the next tutorial, we'll start keep, continue to keep learning some uh, great Python. I'll see you then.